All right, welcome back to Final Cut Pro. So today we're gonna to take a look at a question that was posed to me in my comments section of one of my videos. And that question is, how do you remove unwanted noise from your audio clips inside of Final Cut Pro? Well, that's a good question and occasionally everybody is gonna get some sort of odd noise pop or click inside of some sort of an audio file. There's just circumstances where you can't control everything and you're gonna get some unwanted noise. In this case, uh, one of the aspects in the audio clip that you're gonna hear is I have a fan going and I have that fan pointing directly at my microphone and it's kind of giving this background hum or wind noise. And that was one of the aspects that was asked, how do I remove that? Well, the best answer for that situation is to turn it off. So it's hot and humid out right now. I would love to have a fan blowing on me at this second, but I've turned all those things off in my house. Well, why? Because I'm recording audio. So the first thing that you should do is to get yourself in a situation where you have a good microphone and you have a nice quiet place to record your audio. Now, I'm not in some big fancy room with acoustic panels. I'm literally just in a room with a halfway decent microphone. So I'm running a dynamic microphone, and that's running into an audio interface, and then that is running into OBS as I record this audio file. I used to use a USB microphone, but I wasn't happy with the sound. This dynamic mic is right in front of my mouth. It does not pick up mouse clicks and kind of odd noises that happen around me quite as easily as that USB microphone did and just much better audio improvement. The microphone I'm using is just a sure dynamic microphone and I will leave the model of what I'm using down below and then I'm running that into an audio interface and that's providing the power to the microphone. Now, the first thing that we need to take a look at inside of Final Cut Pro is actually where is our audio. So our audio is located right here. I have it selected. So if we're just over here on this, we're gonna have a different screen, but if we come over here and we click on this, it's gonna bring up the audio parameters. So if we come over here and click on this original file, and then we scroll through here, you'll notice we have some effects and we've got channel EQ, compressor, adaptive limiter. If you watch my other video, this is just kind of the basic adjustments that I put on every audio file. I have this saved as a preset. I've dropped this over here and this is just basically getting the audio levels more even and just boosting the sound and limiting the files so that they don't clip. However, if you were to listen to this, you're going to hear the wind noise in the S's and the P's. It's not the most interesting audio, but what I did was try to stress the S's, the P's to get the pop sounds and then create a little unwanted noise. So then I can show you how to remove them if you do get them in your audio. So the first thing we're going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and play this through. And so you're going to be able to hear all the different issues that are associated with this file. Welcome to Final Cut Pro. And today I'm going to show you how to get rid of pops clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that in your video clip, as well as fan or wind noise. And so this little pause right here is to let you hear that wind noise or the fan blowing into the microphone. So the first thing that we have here is my only plugin that I purchased. Basically, this whole video is gonna be looking at ways you can remove noises just in Final Cut Pro. However, there's one thing I had a really difficult problem with, and that is as you talk, you breathe in to inhale, and as I do that, because my microphone is so close to my mouth, you get this nasty, unwanted inhale noise. And what I needed to do was remove that, and because I'm inhaling all the time, as I speak, it was taking me way too much time to go through the audio files for 20 minutes or 10 minutes and cut every single one of those out. I got something called D-Breath, so we see it right here. This is a plugin made by Wave. I got it on sale, it was really cheap, and it removes the inhale as I speak. Now, occasionally it does pick up some other audio as you're speaking, 
and it's not a big deal. You just kind of cut that little area out, turn the breath off, and it will bring that audio back in. But most of the time, it works pretty good. And I'm basically using the default presets there. You can see right here, I've labeled this deep breath and we're gonna run this, we ran this through and then we're gonna run it through here and you're gonna hear it just removing the deep breath. So that location looks like this. The deep breath right in here, you can see that little area, that's me inhaling and then right here, notice there's almost no audio levels. That area is where it's removing the deep breath and you can go through and see it. So it's gonna be here, it's gonna be here and it's almost dropped all that audio out from those locations. You can come in here to further adjust any of these settings or effects. Once again, you're gonna click on this little icon right here and I can scroll and enlarge this. This is kind of the interface panel. Remember, I'm just using the presets, but feel free to come in here and adjust this and try to make this work the best for your voice. So in the monitor, you have two different ways to view this. So right now, if you look at this, it's just, it's the voice, it's actually dropping the breath. But if you click on breath, it's keeping the breath and dropping the voice. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that on voice. You can easily come in here and adjust how much of this or how little of it gets affected. I just use the default. It doesn't come with any presets. So if you wanna save your own preset after you get the perfect settings for you, hey, and everybody's gonna be completely different you can go ahead and save your own preset. We're just gonna go ahead and turn that back off. What we're gonna do is once again, I'm gonna run through this and you're gonna hear the same audio twice. The first time is original and the second time is just with the breath. Welcome to Final Cut Pro and today, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of pops, clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that in your video clip as well as fan or wind noise. Welcome to Final Cut Pro and today I'm gonna show you how to get rid of pops, clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that in your video clip as well as fan or wind noise. You can hear that dramatic difference. It was really easy, it applies to the whole clip and it just removes all of that inhaling that I have in the video. So let me scroll over a bit here. We are back to the original. Whenever you see original, it's my original audio clip, meaning except for my basic gain and normal adjustments to lift the audio levels, nothing has been applied to it. However, when you come to this next one, it notice we have de -esser. So this is just affecting the S so we don't get so much S in the audio. However, it is going to have both the de breath and the de -esser. So I'm layering these each time I show you one, I'm keeping that effect and then adding another effect on top of it. In this case, we are looking for the de -esser. So what we would do is come down here to our audio effects. So notice I'm in audio, I've selected all these are my effects. They're hidden right here. We're going to come down here and we're going to type in de -esser and that's gonna pop up. To apply one of these, you just drag it and drop it in there. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done that. So we can scroll down here all the way to the bottom and then once again, we've got the de -esser. It does have some presets, so if you wanna try out one of the presets, feel free to come in here and try out the presets. We're just gonna leave this on default for right now. I can open this up and it's gonna bring up that de -esser panel. The first thing that we have is our frequency, and this is the area in which the S is located. You can adjust this, so right now we're at 6,000 hertz, and if it's not where your S is, then you can obviously adjust this a little bit until you can remove that or kind of find it in your speaking voice exactly where that S is located. Next thing that we have is sensitivity. I've got this set at 50%. The last thing that we have over here is the strength, meaning how much of this do we wanna remove? So if I come down here and I select this, I can say, hey, I wanna remove five decibels of the S inside of that file. Now what you're gonna do is you need to find the S inside of the file. So in this case, I have a whole bunch of S, but what we're gonna do is we'll just go ahead and play this. Welcome to Final Cut Pro, and today, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of pops, 
clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that in your video. So you can see this whole area from like here to here is where I have all those different S's. And if we come over here to this file, remember we're using that sort of de-esser. So I can come over into this file where we've removed some of that S sound. So what it's doing is it's just lowering the S to a little bit softer so it doesn't overpower the rest of the audio. Clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that. Now, you're still gonna hear a major S sound in this audio. Well, why? Because I'm accentuating that and trying to make it really loud. So in this case, I would really need to go into that de-esser and really remove a lot of it. So I'm gonna say, hey, I want this to be really strong. We're gonna move, make it to 100%. I wanna raise this strength up to maybe this much. And now when we run through this file right here, we're gonna hear how much of that S-ing or a S has been removed. Clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that. You can see that's definitely a lot better in this case. But in most cases, normal people would never accentuate the S's that much inside of a file. But if you do it, get anybody with like a lisp or somebody that talks and has trouble pronouncing S's, this is definitely a way to kind of calm or tone them down, but you're not really totally removing them. That is de-esser. And the next thing we're gonna take a look at is noise gates. So here's my original file. So noise gates can be looking right here where I have that fan noise or that background hum. In most audio programs, one thing that you can do is kind of select that background noise and let the computer analyze it and then remove it. That we don't have anything like that inside of Final Cut Pro by default. So we're just gonna be using something called noise gate. Noise gate is gonna help remove that audio. It's not gonna remove the pops, clicks, or ticks inside the file. It's just gonna remove that kind of white noise or background noise. Once again, we're gonna come down here. We'll type in noise gate. There's our noise gate file. We would drop this over here and put this on the file here. And we're gonna scroll down and here's our noise gate. We can click on this. Notice that we do have some presets once again, and we'll open up that panel. Threshold is kind of the sensitivity. How sensitive is this? Meaning that the hum or the noise in the background needs to be 20 decibels lower than this speaking audio voice. And you can see how low this is here, so it's picking it up. This is something you definitely need to control. If you have this too high, like minus five, it's gonna remove a whole bunch of your voice from the file, and it's not gonna sound good. You're gonna, so in this case, we don't wanna have minus five. We're gonna go ahead and make this back up to minus 20, and that's just gonna remove that basic background hum that we have. You can go ahead and play around with this. You'll notice when it's too high, it's gonna start doing funky things to your voice and cutting things out. Then just go ahead and lower it a little bit, and that's kind of where it should go. In this case, 20 is good. How much reduction do I want? So minus 100 decibels. This is just how fast it starts it and then releases it. I have this at default. So what we'll do here is we'll play the original file. Then it's gonna play with the debreath, the deesser, and the noise gate. In this case, you wanna really listen to that silent part where that noise has been completely removed from the background. Welcome to Final Cut Pro, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get rid of pops, clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that in your video clip, as well as fan or wind noise. Welcome to Final Cut Pro, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get rid of pops, clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that in your video clip, as well as band or wind noise. So you can see by adding these three different filters, it's removed a lot of that distracting background noise, and it's just pure audio coming through this file right now. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off noise gate. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is how to get rid of the little pops and clicks. So they're very easy to see. These little tall, thin, spiky things, 
And a lot of these are from me smacking my lips together, making that little pop so when I go in the microphone. So to cut those out is really easy. You can either move your playhead to the location and hit either Command Shift B on a Mac and then Command Shift B again, and that's gonna make two cuts. And then you can just simply drag the audio file out. You could also delete this from the audio file. We'll slide back here just a little bit. So here we have another one. You can also come in here and just hit the blade tool, which is the letter B, and you can cut before and after it, hit the letter A and delete that out. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of run through here real quickly. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of scroll through here, see if I have any more of those elements in the file. And if I do, I'm gonna remove them and then we'll go ahead and play this through. It looks pretty good. Let's play it through and see if I got everything. Welcome to Final Cut Pro and today I'm gonna show you how to get rid of pops clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that in your video clip, as well as band or wind noise. And here's the fixed one. Welcome to Final Cut Pro, and today I'm gonna show you how to get rid of pops, clicks, lip smacks, and stuff like that in your video clip, as well as band or wind noise. So you can see that has totally removed all those little pops and clicks inside of that file. That's just a basic tutorial on some of the simple ways to improve your audio inside of Final Cut Pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.